Well, we're just back home from our last trip, and now we've got to get the caravan off the car, back on the drive. One thing we don't see very often is the uh, what we do when we get home. Oh, look. We have to get the silky out, folks. Gonna have to get the silky out. But anyway, here we go. Got the motor mover on. Let's do it. All right, so we're clear of the, the hitch. We're good to go. Very fortunate where we live that I've got a car park right next door. Loads of space to do this. And I know for some outside the houses, and we were the same in our last house, very tight. Maneuvering was tight. But here we're good. Front end's a bit high. Well, I've taken it off the hitch, but it's okay. Main thing here is don't damage Helen's roses, otherwise I'm in big bother. We've got a sloping drive, so when you're high at the front, you can see the back end is coming down very low, but we're okay. Just something to be mindful of though, if you've got a sloping drive. But as soon as the caravan wheels are on, then that'll all start to come back up again. This caravan almost knows how to park itself because when, I, when I've got the reversing motor mover on, there must be something on the drive, but it automatically starts to turn on its own and get in at the top. It's ama amazing how it does it. I'm not altering anything, I'm just hitting the back button here like on the power touch. But you can see that the van is turning itself, just the lay of the land obviously, but it's turning itself in, which is what I need it to do anyway. It's just going over the top of a couple of security posts we've got on the drive. Look at that, I still have not touched the button to turn the van in, but it's coming in on its own. It just amazes me. Obviously there's a slope <laughs> to make it come this way. Look at that, I still haven't touched that button to turn it in. It's coming in on its own. It's like it knows. I better do it now though, we'll be in trouble. And when I'm going to clean the van, I don't like it to be too close to the walls. I need to be able to get round and wash. So the caravan will get a wash and a wax. If not today, certainly over the weekend. Almost there. So you can see, it's just wide enough for me to get down there and be able to wash without any trouble. The big job is to make sure that we're lined up for the wheel lock used to forget this all the time. Now you can see, I'm going to have to go either forward a bit or back quite a bit. I've got springs to go back. So I'm going to go back some. Thing is, I don't know how much more I can go back. Don't want to go back any more than that. So I'm actually going to have to go forward. It's just a bit how it lies. You see, I've got the valve there, so I can't get that in there. So I'm going to have to go another full term well, not a full term, but a quarter of a term. And then line that up in the centre. That's pretty much spot on, I think. So we're okay there. Gives me a bit bigger gap than I normally have here. That's okay. The main thing is, can we get the security post up at the front? And as long as we can do that, just show you what I mean. Oop. Accidentally hit the thing there, better just double check. I 
No, we're okay. We're, we're, we're good. Yep. So handbrake on at this point because I once made the mistake of not doing that, taking the motor mover off, and then it rolled forward and it crunched into the post. But at least the posts are up because it would have got into the car if not. Right, step one done. Two, go and retrieve the car and reverse that up. Not normally much of an issue doing this. And I tend to get the tow bar lined up with the centre. There we go. And then come over a bit. So it's off centre. It keeps the vice sort of wide a bit for anyone coming up the drive like the postman so he doesn't scratch the car with his bag. Says. I'll be wanting to get the steadies down in a second, get these wing mirrors off, you know, towing mirrors, etc. But my first job always is get the power straight back onto the caravan for a while, having used the motor mover and the like. So I need to get in the garage, get some power in, and then we'll get the steadies down. So we get this in first. Motor mover switch also turned off at this point. Bring the cable through. I've got one of these adapters which are really good. So we can get the fridge and all that sort of stuff all done in advance. And I do just run the power cable into the garage, just under some mats here like for protection of the cable and also to make sure that's not a trip hazard. I don't want to be falling over that. Right, moving on. And so that's plugged in, switch down, power to the caravan now. So what I generally like to do now is get the weight out of the car. It's got a big box with a jack in it and all the other bits and bobs. So there's a bit of weight in the back. I like to get that out. So I'll do that next. These aren't particularly heavy, but it's the sun canopy in the sides. So we'll get rid of those. And this is where the weight is, but I do need some things out of here, yeah? But I've got a jack in here, the wheel locks, the hitch locks and things like that, which I now want to put on the caravan. Before I put the steadies down, I just want to lower the front end of the van. I like to get it nearly straight, but slightly sloping forward. And that's because when I wash the van, I want all the water to run off the roof and down the drive. So just a slight tilt forward. That's good. I don't know if there's a real right reason or a wrong way of doing this, sorry, a right way or a wrong way of doing this. I do the front near side steady first, and then I go to the back off side. And I don't know if there's a reason why I should or shouldn't do that. That's what I tend to do. So I go that side, far side back, this side back, and then forward. Just a habit I've got into. So security posts, they're up, but I haven't got the locks on those yet. So I better do that now. Otherwise you forget to do them. One there. And one there, so they're both locked. Let's get the hitch lock on next. If you're wondering about the seagull noise, we live literally less than a five minute walk from the beach. So we've got a lot of seagulls around here. Hitch lock anyway. Hitch lock's no good without that ball. Just a waste of time otherwise. So get that in first. That's in. 
pitch lock on. And a key to lock it. It's locked. I've got a cover which I'll put over there shortly. But I'm going to put the wheel lock on next. Let's go and do that. So how many times have you been to sites or got home, done all these jobs and then realise you can't get the wheel lock on because you've not lined it up in the first place? So you must make that one of the first jobs you do before you do anything. That's why now, through making many mistakes, that is what I do. And hopefully, this will line up nice and easy. Yes, it's on nice and easy. Practice makes perfect. We've all done it. We've all got it wrong. That's good. Just need to give that a little tighten with a wrench. Not too much. That's it. That's fine. And then we just get the lock on. Which is here. Back to this set of keys. That's it. And that's now locked. And if you ever wondered what this little bit of rubber was that comes with your Alco hitch lock, it's to go on there. But I've got to be honest, I've put it on a few times and when I've come back to it, it's not been there. For whatever reason, it's popped off. But anyway, we'll leave it on for now, see how we go. Just want to get the towing mirrors off now. But once I've done this, Helen can go to Marks and Spencer's and go and get the parrot back. I need to get the hitch cover on, so I need to get into the locker. Loving the new towing cover, folks, from Specialised Covers. It makes it nice and easy for me to get in. So you might do things a bit differently to me. Interested to hear how you do what you do. Now, we've got a few dead insects just on the other side of here. We can't see them down here too much. But I'm just gonna get a damp cloth and just give that a wipe down. So literally, this is a microfiber cloth that's damp. It's not even wringing wet, it's just damp. Just to give that a wipe down. Just take off any, like down here, a little bit. Dirt there, picked up from the road. Maybe some of the birds with a bit of target practice. So this is literally a two-minute job. What we need to do is go and switch the fridge over because we've still got gear in the fridge and that might even stay there for a little while yet. Depends whether we go away sooner rather than later. But um, I dare say by close of play today, we'll be powered down in here, but having just been on the road for a bit and we've got a few jobs to do when we get here, then I get the fridge back on electric for a while. So fridge, He's now moved over to electric, that's on. Happy days. I noticed the waste mask the way I emptied it. It's very dirty inside. It's got like a film that's built up on it. So I'm gonna give that a real good clean out with some gear that I've got. Uh, and also what I like to put in the toilet cassette, and I've mentioned this before, as a massive thank you from Andrew, from Andrew and Karen's adventures is the old dishwasher tablets work a treat so that'll be getting a rinse out again it's already been cleaned on site before we left and then i'm going to drop a dishwasher tablet in the toilet cassette and let that soak for a while 
Well, Helen's already gone to Marks and Spencers and collect the parrot from the Parrot Hotel. Uh, so I'm picking up a paint job that I don't normally do. I'm just going to put the dirty bedding, a little bit of washing in for her, so we can get that out on the line. Because we're going to have a barbecue later on today, folks. The weather's great, so I want the line away and all the washing washed and dried. The postman's been good while we've been gone. We've got no bills. Makes a change, doesn't it? Right, here we go. What we got? Mixed fabrics. Turn it on. Power it up. Hit the start button. We're away. I get a whole load of brownie points with this job, I tell you. So that's the immediate jobs done, really. 20 minute job, really, to get the caravan back on the drive. Locks on, steadies down, power on, fridge back on to 240 volts. Got the uh, Wastemaster Aqua Roll out. Uh, bedding's even in the washing machine for Helen. Hitch covers on. I've wiped down the, uh, the new specialised tote cover. That's dry. I'm going to put that away in its bag. And then we're finished. Bit of dirt on the back here. To be honest, that can wait till tomorrow. I think Saturday or Sunday will be the caravan washing day. Like I always say, if you have been, thanks for watching. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, now's your chance. Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and then you'll know when the next videos are coming out. And please leave a comment. What have I missed? Because I bet I've missed something. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next one. Bye for now.